Hello, welcome. My name is Brother Michael Cheta. Today I just want to share the message and it's going to be taken from the book of Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. That is our Bible reading for today. The Bible reads, But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your father saved beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Uh, my dear sisters and brothers out there, the message is going to be taken from uh, Joshua chapter 24 verse uh, 15. That is where the message is coming from. Now here, Joshua was trying now to preach to Israelites, uh, to, to show them the way. Here, Joshua was trying to tell them that uh, if they wish to save other gods as their forefather did, they can go ahead. If they want to save the god of Amorites in the land where they were living, they can go ahead. But him, he made a, 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 a choice to say, me and my family, we are not going to save any other gods or any other thing apart from the living God. So my dear and my sister, the message is out now. The question stands still the same to ask you the question to say, whom are you serving today? And that's for theme we are having for today. Whom are you going to save? That's the theme for today. Just like the theme is asking a question to say, whom are you saving? Are you saving the devil or are you saving the living God? Many of uh, families in Zambia, they have got different kinds of uh, gods whom they worship to. Yes, of course, we may see them that they are saving the living God because we are entering in the same church using the same door. Doesn't mean that we are saving the living, same, uh, the same living God. No. Others are worshipping the devil. Others are worshipping demons. Others have covenants with fault finders. Others have covenant with witch doctors. Now the same question comes back to you. Whom are you saving? Have you introduced Christ into your family? Look at Joshua. Joshua, uh, Joshua speaks with that confidence to say, me and my family, we are going to serve the living God. Are you going to speak with the same confidence to say, you and your family, you are going to serve the living God? Or are you speaking that with the uh, doubts to say, you are serving the devil, you are not even proud of it to introduce it into your families? My family and friends, it's high time now we have to introduce Christ into our families. It's the right time we have as we are breathing to reintroduce Christ into our families and into our relationship. In whatever we are doing, we should introduce Christ in it. To fuira tu wachita introduce Christ, mucho tule chite chiri chonse. Chonse cho tule amba na ngu ninchito tule amba. Let's introduce Christ. The question still stands, whom are you serving right now or whom do you worship? Do you worship the demons? Do you worship the witch doctors? Do you worship the prophets, human beings? Or do you worship the living God? Unfortunately, some of the families have introduced the forces of darkness into their families in the name of protecting their families. They have taken something from witch doctors in the name of protecting their families. They have taken something from from demons in the name of protecting their jobs they are forgetting that they are worshiping the devil there are many ways someone can worship the devil it's not only kneeling down and saying praise the devil praise the devil no in some of the things we are using the kind of protection we are using if you are using any protection to protect your family or uh, your properties apart from the protection from god you are worshiping the devil Others have been initiated in Satanism without them knowing. Others, they know. What are you worshipping? Are you worshipping the devil? Are you worshipping the kingdom of darkness through protections or through having uh, rich, that, or through becoming a rich man? Have you sacrificed yourself? That is worshipping your devil. 
Tufila tufume kumbele ya bipa ya kupepa ichibanda. Joshua Aymani ni apabu tatutu. He was never influenced by the majority to say Pantu ama Israelites they have chose to pray uh, any other God. So even me, I'll follow them. No. Christianity is not about where the majority is going. Christianity is about how the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Teku konge china wingi, ah ah. Pantu china wingi chasa lo kuchitechi. Na inena yansa lo kuchitechi. Te wina Christu. Uwina Christu kukonko mupashu wa mshirofo ulelanda. Joshua, na pamana imanina. Alesu sokuwa bat ineno lupwa la wandi. Na sala po kugombela le soa mweo. Nga iwe munina, nile sanshu wa sala po kugombela. Kushe nile soa mweo na ngochiba nda. Umutima uwebe ulekwe wa shani. Bushe le so pepa wali muchita introduce kuri family yobe we know Christianity is an individualistic matter but you also need to introduce Christ into your family ulupo alobe ruishibe ube proud father proud mother proud brother like brother Joshua who was very proud of his God of serving the living God and he even introduced God into his family whom have you introduced into your family? Ni nani omu achita introduce mu family mumu eno? Omu lechita worship? That is the question for today. My brother and sister, thank you for watching. We shall meet again. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.